Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 15th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here looking at our sped up imagery of our sun the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms. M-class solar flare, top left-hand side, as well another flare taking off in an outgoing position, creating a large CME, which will give us a glancing blow in the future here. Quick look at incoming, as that was a pretty sizable CME plasma filament eruption with that solar flare, as well watching that bright sunspot region firing off and has been in C flare range for the past 24 hours. Lots of activity on our sun right now. Another close look at the region of the M-class solar flare. Notable there on the right-hand side, that small sunspot region. 171 angstroms here. We can see the darkened region in the southern hemisphere, coronal hole and as well pointing out those active regions. Some pretty intense energy coming around as well. You can see that cresting on the left-hand side, right behind this large coronal hole, getting ready for an Earth-facing position, but in a southern position as well. Solar X-ray flux remains in a heightened C range, as we saw just under M-class solar flares today, four of them. Geomagnetic activity remains really low, ahead of the next space weather event. We've also got our real-time solar wind, which we're sitting at 430 kilometers per second. Steam seems pretty steady at the moment. Showing Lasco 2 and 3. Energies taking off from our sun. Brought to you by Soho and Solar Dynamics Observatory. Closer look at number two. Kind of a trifecta of energy going off there. And Lasco 3 showing Mercury and Venus getting ready to leave the view. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral, you can see large CME taking off from our sun. Looks like a double shot. But in the future is set to quite possibly enhance a solar wind stream that's already on the way. Schumann Resonance for today is a power of 25. Heightened telemetry today. As we're sitting at power of 25, quality of 19, and a power of 36 amplitude. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. We're going to start out with the most recent earthquake on the USGS map showing a 5.2 earthquake just recently. Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, 64 kilometer depth as well at the same time one of South Australia. Looking at South America we saw quite a bit of activity today right up into San Antonio de los Cobros and Paracas, Peru with a 4.7. Caribbean plate, quiet considering what it has been recently. 4.5 here in Guatemala as well. Veracruz, Veracruz, Mexico, 4.3 earthquake. Interesting and rare earthquake here. Montreal, Bois de Filion, 3.0 earthquake. As well, looking across the west coast of the United States, Kingston, Nevada saw 3.0. As well, the geysers seeing a small swarm there as they have tipped our earthquake count to over six, 260 earthquakes in a map area. Quick look at USGS showing all of the earthquakes across the west coast. Nothing major to report. New Madrid, about 18 Earthquakes through Yellowstone today. And as well, all this activity heading up the San Andreas Fault, east of the San Francisco Bay Area. Heads up and stay aware and prepared. Alaska, 
seeing a slight earthquake swarm, but more minor activity. Largest was the 3.7, 4.6 there off the coast of Kamchatka. And then we get to the Philippines Plate in Indonesia. As yesterday, it was really quiet. And then today, we've got a reverberation from 4.3 to 5.0 right across the region. Labuan, Indonesia, that's right by Krakatoa. And then at the same time as that Scotia Plate earthquake, we had a 5.0 earthquake strike south of Australia after we saw some activity here in Macquarie Island. 4.9, two, two of them. South of Fiji, deepest earthquake was yesterday, 496 kilometer depth. So no major earth, deep earthquakes to report today. Mariana's Trench there, 4.8. As well, a 4.6 here reported in Bandar Abbas, Iran. And that's a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. As I said, sitting at about 260, according to USGS, across the world. And that is including minor 1 point and 2 point magnitudes. Quick glance here at the last seven days for earthquakes. Definitely seeing an increase in activity through the Philippines plate, up into the Indian plate. And as well, just recently seeing some more activity in South America. As we saw a couple six pointers there yesterday, 6.2, Chile. Heads up, have a plan, stay aware and prepared. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We've got Sangay in Ecuador, Popocatito in Mexico, Sabancaya in Peru, Era in Japan, Fuego, Guatemala, Tocono in Indonesia, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Many flood alerts across South America and as well as Central Africa and, of course, Australia. Winter storm conditions through the upper northeast of the United States and then into Canada. Pretty big systems ramping up, heading into the West Coast, B.C. and Alaska. High wave advisory for Hawaiian Islands. And Australia, New South Wales, seeing a lot of flood alerts recently. And we're seeing many flood alerts across the world. At about 200, or sorry, about 180 active hazards. And it seems that half of them are flood watches or alerts. Having a look here at... Satellite imagery overlooking northeastern United States and Ontario. Very big wintry mess heading into Pennsylvania and then into Connecticut and New York and then carrying on into Vermont. Heavy snowfall warnings and wind will be in effect. Not much accumulations here in Ontario except for Toronto. Having a look here at Venture Sky the next few days, watching that system gain energy and a lot of moisture from the Atlantic as it heads into the Atlantic provinces in the long range by Thursday. And then we've also got another Gulf system here developing. It may become stagnant and then eventually head out by Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, long range. Could see some very stormy weather. East coast, United States, southeastern parts. Look at this big system here developing. Long line of moisture stretching all the way up to Greenland. Very interesting days ahead of us, folks. Overlooking South America, stormy conditions northward. And then stormy conditions developing here by next Monday for Buenos Aires, Argentina, and Brazil border. Africa, it's going to be a dry week ahead of you, except for parts of South Africa later in the week. Europe, 
gray days ahead of you as, as now all of these waves of moisture are coming inland and as well a pretty big system there developing in the Mediterranean heads up overlooking Southeast Asia Indonesia Malaysia pretty big system here heading into southern India overlooking Australia You've got a low pressure system south of you is going to bring waves of moisture straight across the continent and as well a pretty big storm developing northwest of you. Heads up, stay aware and prepared and thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by natural disasters, floods, earthquakes, hurricanes still, and of course volcanoes. Much love, stay aware and prepared. Give you a quick look here at the Pacific Ocean showing these systems vigorously heading towards northern BC and Alaska. Much love, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.